What's going on everybody? It is Alex from Everything for iPod. The iPhone 5 comes out tomorrow and I got my hands on one of the new cases that I'm going to be using for my iPhone 5. So this is the Spec Candy Shell and I'm sure you've seen these cases before but I'm gonna run through basically what it looks like, do a little size comparison, as well as tell you some more information about how I got my hands on an iPhone 5 one day early. So, there's the case. Let's just take a look at it first. Um, I went for the candy shell again, and I got the gray and blue model. I thought it looked really nice. Some other cases they had, they had a bunch of the candy shells in all different colors. They had a pink, a purple, a white, a black, as well as this. They also had the candy shell grip in a few different colors, such as red, black, white, gray, and uh, I think that's it. They also had a black Otterbox Defender as well as a purple Otterbox Defender. And uh, that was pretty much it. So they only had the candy shells and the Otterbox. They also had a candy shell flip in white. They only had a white version, so I didn't go for that. But I really like this one, so let's take a look at it. First of all, you'll notice that um, the bottom here, we've got our headphone and as well as our lightning port. But we also do have these speaker grills, and there's a bunch of just little perforated dots. Let me see if I can get you a little closer look at that right there. So there's the speaker and microphone grills. Uh, we also have our camera cutout which has a black ring going around the side of it right there. Um, mat or, sorry, metallic finish. So I'm going to get this little plastic uh, bubble wrap off or plastic wrap off right there. This thing looks pretty sweet. You got your volume rockers on the side as well as an exposed switch. So that should be, and it's actually pretty wide there, so it should be pretty easy to access. Let's go ahead and pull in one of the older versions of the candy shell. This is the candy shell for the iPhone 4 and 4S, and if we compare it, first of all, we can see that the um, candy shell, the original candy shell, has some extra width. You can see there. It's actually uh, a lot thicker, a little bit thicker, and um, if we lay them down on the table, the iPhone 5 one is just a little bit taller right there. So that's pretty neat. Uh, we just got like a little plastic insert there. If we go ahead and take, this is my iPhone 4S. Let's go and just lay it in the case. We can see that even though the screen is much taller um, on the 4 or, or on the 5 than the 4S, we only have this little gap at the top for a height difference. And that I'm guessing is because they probably shortened the uh, distance with no screen there and there. But anyway, let me just tell you how I was able to get my hands on it. I didn't actually, I wasn't able to bring it home, but I went to the AT&T store to get one of these. Um, they didn't have them at Apple, or at least they wouldn't sell them to me until tomorrow. So I went to AT&T, and they didn't have them out, but I asked if they had them. The guy was really nice and said, yeah, he went in the back, brought a bunch of cases out for me to look at, which was awesome. And when he came back, uh, he came back with... Um, just a black version of this as well as the outer box and I said well do you have any other colors I'm not interested in these two he said yeah I'll bring them back he said do you want the outer box or the candy shell I said just bring me what colors you have in the candy shell and I'll choose one of them so he came back about two minutes later a bunch of candy shell cases including this one and he also brought an iPhone 5 out he opened it up and he said here try it on I got my hands on the iPhone 5 I was able to play around with it for about five minutes and test it out and the thing was light as can be. I could not believe how light it was. And then holding this thing after made it feel like a brick. This thing is ridiculously light. I really recommend, maybe not tomorrow because it's going to be jam-packed in all the Apple stores, but go in to check it out for yourself because this thing was ridiculously light. I could not believe it. Um, it feels awesome. The screen is awesome to get to. It's not too tall or anything. I can't wait to bring you guys with the unboxing tomorrow and show you what I mean. The only way to experience the weight difference is to go check it out. It is an amazing weight difference. It felt like I was holding paper or something. It was just crazy how much lighter it was. So um, stay tuned for the unboxings as well as a case review on this. This is just kind of a little overview and telling you that I got my hands on the iPhone 5 today. Um, just because I can't review this really truly until I get the iPhone 5. So tomorrow, stay tuned for an unboxing. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll try to get that up. Um, usually UPS comes to my house around 
three thirty, uh, three thirty four o'clock in the afternoon. So I should have an unboxing up by six o'clock Eastern time tomorrow. Six p.m. Eastern time is when I'm hoping to get it up by. Subscribe if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on any anything. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos, and uh, I'll hit you up tomorrow with some earpods reviews, unboxings, as well as case reviews. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I will see you in my next video. See ya.